they are really impressed because they don't need to have an impression taken and then you can say, okay, I would do, do this or that. And the next step, and this is new in this Auto 1.2 software, is that we have an analyzing tool for the model analysis. So here you can define your arch and you put the markers on the tool, okay? like this. And then the same thing, of course, in the upper jaw. You can adjust this a little bit if you want. And then the computer comes up with something like this and it defines now the teeth. That's okay, this is gingiva, that's a two. And sometimes if there is a mistake, you, you can say, fix it. Right, and then you can say, okay, no, that's gingiva, it's not a two. Or vice versa, right. you say, okay, that's a two and that's not gingiva. Okay? And if you say, no, it's, it looks good, and the same thing in the upper jaw, then the computer calculates the tooth width and it shows you exactly how the how the, the teeth are, and of course you can adjust this also. You can move around here. The bolt, say, bolt, the bolt in analysis. Yeah, exactly. And if you say no, that's accurate. We have at the moment three analysis here. We have the bolt analysis, which is a tooth width analysis for upper and lower jaw. We have space analysis, like Moyer's analysis for the mixed dentition, and Nance analysis for the permanent dentition. So you can see, do I have to extract teeth, or do I have to arrow to stripping, or whatever? And it, you can export this as a PDF file, and it helps you, of course, with your treatment planning. It's a very nice tool, and um, then you can... I don't know if you're familiar with this, you can uh, have a, a 3D uh, digital model, and you can... So the analysis, it's just an analysis, you can't do anything with it in the software. No, exactly, it's not a planning tool, but it's analysis. And if you want to go further, then you have... With the export, you have different possibilities of exporting. For example, if you want to move the teeth around yourself, there is a software called Onyxef, and you can do everything with it. Yeah? Okay. And uh, for aligners or for indirect bonding, you can put the, the uh, brackets on the tooth very, very precisely. And for example, you can send them then to uh, CA Digital, and you get a transfer tray like this. It's very high quality, and you can so put it on the right on and it's 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 great. Yeah? Or the same thing with the retainer. You can plan digitally. And this retainer. is for printing. And this is uh, like okay, we have and, and CA Digital. Like CA Digital right. offers a lot of solutions. Here for aligners, you can uh, for clear correct. If for for smaller uh, things like for a dentist, Invisalign. If you're an orthodontist, you're probably use Invisalign, and it's very very nice because in five minutes you upload the data to California, and very often two days later you get your clean check. And sometimes if you do an impression, then you get an email check lower left seven. It's not accurate, and this doesn't happen with a scan. Is this is the scanning improving this, or is the same scanning as before? Um, no, if there is an improvement from 1.1 to 1.2. It's easier. A, a little bit, yeah. It's small amounts, Minor. but yeah. But 1.0 to 1.1 was a big deal. Yeah, yeah. But this, it, it works. Can, really you export, really. can you export the STL from this software too? Yes, three days ago they incorporated yeah. this as an existing.